Herbs and spices instead of salt and sugar. That's a game changer. Check this out. That's my spice rack. Tons of them, herbs and spices. Check this out. Another spice rack. And check this out, another herb and spice rack. Oh my God. And if you'll notice, I got these big ones here more in bulk. I've got about in total about eight or nine of those of the ones that I go through with the most frequency. So they're in big bulk. So here's why that is a game changer to go through the learning curve of herbs and spices instead of salt and sugar. So when you get to a point where it's like, wow, I've learned how to make my food taste just as good as or even better than doing it up with salt and sugar, you're going to get a tremendous amount of health benefits from it. You're going to change your energy. And because you're changing your health, your energy is going to be better. You're going to feel better. Therefore, you're going to get a better night's sleep. And because you're getting a better night's sleep, you're going to feel better throughout the day. So basically, your whole circadian rhythm now, you're doing a lot better. Inflammation in the joints, maybe chronic pain will start to reduce. Maybe disease prevention, maybe blood sugar, maybe weight loss and so on and so forth. Weight management, when you get to the weight loss you want to be, if you're working out, better recovery from your workouts, all of those things. Maybe you give a little less of your money to drug company owners. Wouldn't that be nice? Hospital bills. Wow. Just on and on and on. So it's a worthwhile learning curve to go down. And you can't gain weight from it. Herbs and spices. And they're not constricting. What I mean by that is if you're going to do salt and sugar, don't do any. Okay, first that. But if you're going to do it, low moderation. You have a mindset of constriction, restriction. I can't do too much, just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to overdo it because it's salt and sugar. It's bad for you and you know it. So you're a mindset of constriction if you're going to do that route. With herbs and spices, throw that out the window, man. Put as much on it as you want. Have at it, Haas. The more herbs and spices you consume, the more health benefits you're going to get. And the more health benefits you get, better you're going to feel your energy and all those other things I named less money going out to hospitals and drug company owners. It's much better. So go through the learning curve. I'm not going to go through more than that in this video, but I have a huge YouTube channel, a huge playlist of videos and a website. And I go into this in much more detail, many more little digestible videos. Feel free to go tomberkenmeyer.com. It's my website, tomberkenmeyer.com, just as it's spelled here on social media. There's a recipe blog, there's a get healthy, huge get healthy resource. Uh, so cherry pick out of it what you want. And just remember that paradigm shift from salt and sugar to herbs and spices. You'll be so glad, go through the learning curve. You'll mess up at first, I'm telling you, a lot of it's trial and error, but you'll get it, especially trial and error and experience combined with things you learn from other people like myself and whoever else you might learn from. It'll help the trial and error move along faster and you'll figure it out. I promise you will. And you'll be so glad that you did. So just go through that transition. It's worth it. Mwah. Comment with what your favorite herbs and spices are, or if you have a particular kind of blend that you like to couple different herbs and spices with, I'd love to hear about it because I'm still learning too.